Alright guys, today I'm going to show you guys how I transfer my cold air from my front cabin to the back of the cabin of the Sprinter. Um, because I have a divider with a glass, the air conditioning does not flow to the back. And I don't always want the air conditioning to flow from the front to the back. The reason I want to do this is because when I'm in any location and I don't want to run a generator or I don't have uh, power, I just run my air conditioning from the van and take it from the front cabin directly all the way to the back and this has a lot of power a lot of rpms 2720 rpms so it's a very good furnace blower and i can run it with my inverter let me show you where i'm going to install this as you see i have the uh, divider here and this is why i want to transfer the cold air from inside sometimes not all the time and bring it back to the back of the cabin so uh, I'll show you guys from the inside where I'm gonna install it and then I'll show you um, where it's gonna be on the uh, inside and of course I have to grind a hole square hole on the uh, divider here but let me show you that so this is how the blower is gonna go it's gonna go right behind the seat right there like that and the electrical, I'll show you where the electrical is going to go, but um, I have to open a uh, square hole. the opening already done I got three holes done I don't need the fourth hole um, there's an electrical uh, it looks like the capacitors on the side there I have no way of putting a, a um, rivet here but there's no need for it this three will be enough uh, to hold the uh, lower all right so this is where it's gonna go exactly there the rear is really strong so there will be no vibration with this. really strong this is the power here and later on as I keep doing my conversion for the van uh, the power is going to go right through here through this hole right here I have to open another hole on the other side and this little plug is going to be right here on the inside uh, so the cable is free of sharp objects with this corner here so for now I'm just going to put the power cable here so the chair does not block the blower it's on the edge of the chair I'll show you see the only thing you see right now next to the chairs is that blower that doesn't look bad at all it blends in looks really good and it's going to take the air conditioning from here all the way directly all the way to the blower here so it's going to withdraw all that air and take it to the other side of the cabin. Let me show you on the other side what it looks like. Alright, so this is what it looks on the other side. This is the piece of the divider here. Real thick gauge steel here. And blends in right here with the black. And it has, like I show you, it has only three rivets. It's good enough. There's no need for the fourth one. And like I say, there's very hard to get the other rivet right here. But this blower is really strong in here. Let me show you how it works. There's a lot of wind flowing through here. You can feel it. It's a lot. And from over here, you see. 
see the blower running. It's withdrawing a lot of air from the cabin. And of course, like I said, the divider does a good job uh, to keep everything from flying to the front cabin. So that's why I like the divider. And of course, my kitchen goes behind the divider, so it's a good wall. Uh, I really don't like access through here to the main cabin. Uh, so that's why I have a blower whenever I'm parked anywhere and I'm not running the generator. Keep my van running and use my blower to cool down the back cabin. Hope it helps if you have a divider between your main cabin and the back of the Sprinter. This is something you can do to cool down your back cabin uh, with your air conditioning. And I had it in my previous van and it worked really good. It cooled down the back, good enough to be comfortable. It's not gonna cool it so much that you're gonna feel the cool air, but it's gonna be comfortable enough to be in the back cabin of the van. All right guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll keep you guys updated with the new things I'm gonna do to my Sprinter.